thanks to the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior, my family, uh, my wife of 40 years. Uh, you have to have somebody as a co-coach raising a family. And she, I, was, I was the co-coach. She was the coach of it. When I was going to coach uh, away from home a lot of times. Uh, my three daughters here, they, I'm really proud of them. They travel uh, all the way from southeast Missouri, left seven grandkids back there, my son-in-laws. <laughs> I'm really proud of them. <laughs> and my uh, here in the back, uh, I'm going to need them. I also like to thank uh, Bill Bradley for nominating me. He's a Hall of Famer. Uh, I also like to thank the uh, Hall of Fame, Missouri Coaches Association, Association for uh, electing me. Uh, <clears throat> I started coaching the, back in 1973. At a small school, Scott County Center, and uh, it's well known now. It's well known now. And uh, when I got hired down there, uh, it wasn't as well known. And uh, I started out in junior high. And they, uh, they during that year, uh, I went in there and always had confidence in myself and played and coaching. And I just give me five players. Five people that want to play ball, we win. At the end of the year, I lost it. They barely lost every game. Seven years won every game, but I lost the championship in the conference. And I started questioning myself. And at that time, the head coach, Ronnie Cookson, and uh, Ronnie uh, arranged a game after that with an eighth and ninth grade game over Bell City, uh, which is an arch rival of Scott County. And, uh, I wasn't feeling that good, so I called in a second. I was wanting to find out if it was me or the boys. And uh, of course, Ronnie took over there, and, and I called him up later on that day and that night. Said uh, uh, after I was sick, sick or not, I wasn't really that sick. I just want to find out. <laughs> Ronnie, how you do? We won. And I said, great. <laughs> He said, no, Ron, you can't win that much. Kids are 70, we got being 70 to 40. And I learned from there that, uh, you know, it takes more than that. It takes some talent. It takes a lot of hard work. Uh, seventh grade, ended up, well, fortunate enough, I was down there at the time when they won the first three state championship on their running. I, I was able to sit on the bench and watch this. I was able to watch the seventh grade I had win back-to-back -back state championships. Uh, 1977, well, we had twin daughters, and uh, I knew I was predestinated to coach girls. So we had three daughters all you know, together, and then I also had two female cats. So, <laughs> 1981, uh, at Scott County Central, I, uh, 1980, this is my coaching duties. I was seventh eighth grade coach, I was a girls' varsity and JV coach. I attended every boys' varsity and JV coach I mean, games, and also started coaching the sixth grade boys at the end of the year. In the middle of the summer, I, I've been talking with my wife that I've been closer to home. I was, I was three miles away from home. She's going in another direction. And with our family, uh, the girls would be going to different school. All three of us would be going in different directions. Jackson's school coaching job came open. I applied for it, got the job, learned about getting a job in the middle of my camp down in Scott County Central. I finished the camp, and on the last night for the girls, I was going to Jackson. And uh, that team won the 2A state championship the next year. Uh, the team I had, I, uh, the next week after getting hired at Jackson, I had an open gym. I had two girls show up. And the best girl I had quit the middle of the season. We ended up 12 and 10. The 80s, the 80s wouldn't, they the 80s were good. We just didn't get ever win a district. It took 10 years until 1991. And then uh, from that, everything just fell in place. Uh, count my blessings. I was an older coach at that time, able to go out uh, with a win. Uh, all three of my daughters. Experiment found four, and all end up, end up with a last game win, third place. 
Uh, I uh, retired in 2003, took off a year to help uh, transport my dad and mom uh, back and forth to doctors and, and so forth. And I was, I was ready for a break. And then in 2005, I was asked to coach some grade boys. I did a couple of years. Got the uh, privilege of uh, coaching, being an assistant coach at the high school. We signed seven for privilege. My old high school coach was assistant coach alone with the son in So I, I had a great experience at coaching. And uh, to put things in the right perspective, uh, one of the kids I coached back in 2007, uh, he was a freshman, was, and I was the JV coach. I ran across him about three or four months ago. We started talking. He said, Coach, that was a good year. His, first, his freshman year was a good year. And he said, that was one of my better years in, in, with you as coach. And that put everything in perspective. I really enjoyed it. I thank you very much. I really am honored. I appreciate being in the Hall of Fame. Thank you. and all his accomplishments in, uh, in terms of the Hall of Fame. Thank you for being uh, so, so successful. Thank you very much.